How are you feeling? Fine. Nervous? Mm -hmm. I think it's understandable. How long have you been here in the hospital? Three days. What brought you here? I ran away from Camarillo State Hospital. I was still sick, so I came back to the hospital. You came, you came back here by yourself? Yes. Why did you come here? Because this is the only place I needed to come to for help. For help with what? With my problems. Can you tell us what they are? Just an inability to get along with people and my family. And I can't take care of myself. Mm. How old are you? 21. Who is your family? Who are the members of it? Mm. My mother, and I have three brothers and a sister. I have a husband and two children. Are you all living together? Are you all living separate? What's the situation? Presently? Mm-hmm. Um, my husband's gone back to his family, and I was living with my mother and my two children and a sister and two brothers. That's quite a household. Mm -hmm. How long were you married? I got married in July. Of this year? Yes. And you say your husband has left. Why was that? I don't know. I haven't seen him. Did, I ask he, him. did he say anything to you? He left while I was in Camarillo. Mm -hmm. How long were you in Camarillo? Two and a half months. He left without warning? Yes. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about that? I don't know. I didn't feel anything in particular. Mm -hmm. Were you close to him? Not especially. How long had you known him before you married him? About three years. So it was nothing impulsive that you married him? Or was it? Yes, it was. It was. How come? Why was it impulsive or why did I marry him? Why did you marry him? Because I needed a father for my children. They weren't his children. No. You say you have two children. Yes. Have you had any other pregnancies besides those two? Yes. How many? Four. And what's happened with those children? Hmm. I, I lost three. Two were stillborn, and one died after birth, and I had a single birth that I was adopted out, and I had a set of twins that were adopted out. Uh -huh. That's more than four. But then I made a mistake. I guess so. And which are the ones that are home with you now? There's three and four. I mean, that's their ages. Uh -huh. Who's taking care of them? My mother. How do you feel about that? I don't have much choice. How do, you, how do you feel about it? I don't know. I'm sure you do. Well, I wish it wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. How do you get along with your mother? fine when I'm not home. By that you mean you get along with her fine when you're not with her? Not so good when you're with her. That's right. Mm -hmm. What happens when you're with her? We just don't get along well. What happens? Well, we argue and... I don't know. I just don't appreciate her, and she doesn't appreciate me. Was this your first marriage last July? 
No, I was married once before. For a short period. For how long a time? I don't remember. You puzzle me a little. Why is it you don't remember? Probably because I don't want to. How old were you when you got married? The first time? Sixteen. Did it last more than a year or less than a year? Less than a year. Just a few months or even less than that? I think it was a matter of days. I see. How did you happen to get into that? I don't know. I just met him one day and married him that afternoon. Hmm. That's pretty fast. Hmm. How fast was the second one? You said it was impulsive. Well... Uh, in about three weeks' time. Hmm. How has your mother felt about the children that you've had? I never asked her. How does she feel about them? Well, I don't know. I'm sure you could guess. Well, I imagine she thinks it's a little disgusting. Uh, something that practically everything I do seems to be a little beyond her understanding. Oh. It's always been that way? Seems to be. How did you feel about these pregnancies? Well, I knew what I was doing. I know where babies come from. Oh. How did you feel while you were pregnant? Fine. Very well. By that, do you mean you felt better than usual or the mm -hmm. same as usual? Better than usual. Healthy, happy, no problems. Is that the best you feel when you're pregnant? When you're pregnant or locked up, one or the other. I feel fine here. Hmm. You like to be locked up? Mm -hmm. You feel better mm -hmm. when you're locked up? How do you account for that? You mean, why do I feel better? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't have any idea. Have you ever thought about it? No. Really? I just don't understand it. Well, it does seem puzzling, doesn't it? That at the times when you're locked up, you feel better. Most people aren't that way, are they? No, I don't think so. So you feel good being here in the hospital? Mm -hmm. Better than before? And you say you even came into the hospital because you wanted to be, I assume, locked up. This, this is the third time I've been here. In this hospital? Mm-hmm. Have you been in other hospitals? County hospitals? No. Mental institutions? Yeah. Yes. Could you tell me about that? I was in Modesto State Hospital. Uh, when I was 19, I was there for... Ten months. Why were you there? Because I'd been committed. Why were you committed? Well, I suppose I was mentally ill. What do you mean? My mother seemed to feel that I was mentally ill, so she had me committed. You saw her at her for it? No. Glad you did? Neutral? It doesn't really make any difference. Mm. Why did she think you were mentally ill? I don't know. I never asked her. I would guess your relationship isn't too good if you don't even ask her. No, it isn't. No. Did you feel that you were mentally ill when they committed you? I don't know. They've been saying that since I was real small, so it really wasn't unusual. Mm. So you're kind of used to that. Mm -hmm. Who's they? My family. And in particular? People in particular. No, I mean who in particular in your family? Well, I don't know. They... My mother and... Now that my sister's a little older, my sister, and 
my brother, my grandparents. I lived with them for a while when I was 14, 15 years old, 15 or 16, I'm not quite sure. And they seemed to think so. And when I was in juvenile hall, they seemed to think so because the court released me in the custody of my parents only in the condition that I would receive immediate and continuous psychiatric attention. And, and what happened? Did you? For a while. How old were you then? Fifteen. Have you been in juvenile hall ever since then? Or was that the only time? I was in juvenile hall three times, I think. For what? Well, the first time was, uh, there were four of us. That we swiped a car and ran away to Arizona. And then they sent me to a, a girls' school in San Fernando, and I ran away from there five or six times. And every time they ran, I ran away, I had to spend more time in the juvenile hall before I was sent back. How old were you the first time? Fifteen. And what were the other occasions for you going to juvenile hall? Because I refused to go to school. What and for running away. What was the matter at school? I just didn't like it. How were you doing? Well, in some things I did fairly well, and other things I didn't do so well. It just depended on how I felt. Hmm. Could you have done better? Or were you doing as well as you were capable? I suppose I could have done better if I'd applied myself. Hmm. Have you any idea what prevented you from that? No. In addition to the three times in juvenile hall, have you been arrested on other occasions? Yeah. Could you tell me about that? Hmm. I got arrested once. A couple of years ago for writing bad checks. I was uh, 18. They didn't keep me. They gave me a year's probation. I got arrested last year for writing bad checks, and they gave me 90 days. And then I got 110 days for receiving seven traffic violations in one month. And then once for possession of narcotics. But they didn't keep me that time either. And that's all. What narcotics? Uh, we had, they aren't really narcotics, marijuana and amphetamine. Mm -hmm. Were you ever hooked? On um, what? Amphetamine. Yes. How old were you then? That was this year. Mm -hmm. Is that the first time? No. That was when I was 17. How long were you hooked when you were 17? For three months. And what happened? You mean why did I care? Mm -hmm. um, I got sent to San Francisco. By whom? My own mother. <laughs> I, I was going to a hospital and I was going to Letterman General Hospital because my father was in the army and the doctor out there that was the psychiatrist I was going to had me confined for a couple of days so I could care. Did you want to care? Not especially. But you were told to? Mm -hmm. Your father? No, mm -hmm. the doctor. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? Well, because he was my psychiatrist and we discussed it. 
Did you have any trouble kicking? Well, I suppose I had the normal or the usual withdrawal period. And what happened during that period? Hmm. I couldn't eat and I got delusional and I would hear voices. What do you mean you were delusional? I could see things. What did you think? Mostly people. Would you describe what you saw? As well as you can remember. Well, I can remember this time better. When you I kicked here. You were in this hospital when and I you kicked, kicked for the second time. Yeah. And what happened? Well, they put me in a room on a bed. And it seemed like there were people trying to get in the room. And in the windows and through the ceiling and at the veranda of the bed. I couldn't actually see them, but I thought I could see the movement they were making. Uh, smoke, I could see smoke all over the place. Uh, and it bothered me. It seemed to impair my breathing a little bit. That's all. Did you see the people at any time or just the movements? Just the movements. Mm -hmm. Aside from the smoke, was there anything else that you saw clearly? Bugs, animals? Mm -hmm. The first time I kicked, I saw bugs, snakes. Mm -hmm. But not this time. What did the snakes look like? Mm -hmm. I didn't see, I couldn't see the end of them. They were long. They were long, and what about the end? Was it cut off? And they were coming or through the wall. I see. You couldn't see the end because part of them was still in the wall. It was funny to me. I remember them. Mm -hmm. Did you know that they were hallucinations or did you feel that they were real? Well, I suppose at the time I must have felt they were real. Mm -hmm. But they didn't frighten you? No. Mm -hmm. So that you really did see them? Mm-hmm. When was that? I was 17. And when was the most recent time? In September. I think it was. I had a little trouble with recent dates since I had the shock treatments. And when did you it. have the shock treatments? I had my last one Friday, last Friday. Uh -huh. And it was after that that you left the hospital? Yeah, I left the hospital. You ran away? The following Sunday. Uh -huh. How many shock treatments have they given you? I'm not sure. Ten. Between 10 and 15. And why did they give them to you? Because I asked for them. And why did you ask for them? Because I didn't seem to be accomplishing anything. What do you mean? Well, the reason I signed myself into the hospital was for help, to, to straighten out my way of thinking and, and my actions and so forth. And and I didn't seem to be getting any better. And so I had a slight understanding. I'm not sure how good it was, but I had a slight understanding of the shock treatments, and I thought possibly that would do it. Mm -hmm. Did it? I don't think so. Did it make any difference? Uh, I, I don't... I think that's a little hard to say, because from my understanding of shock treatments, it's, the purpose of them is to change the brainwave pattern, and then after you've completed your shock treatment period, then you're, you should receive intensive psychotherapy. And I, of course, didn't get any therapy because I didn't stay there. Mm -hmm. It seems like I have to be on the go all the time. I have to be moving, walking, or I have to be doing something. Is that something that's usually present with you, or was it just while you were there? Well, that's something that's usual. Mm. Whether you're in the hospital or out. That's right.
Were you glad to be discharged at that time, after the ten months, or were you sorry? <clears throat> oh, in a way I was sorry, because I didn't... Because, like I said, I, I didn't mind being confined. I would rather be confined than being at home. But uh, I was a little glad, too, because I thought, since I didn't seem to make any improvement or any great change while I was there, maybe I'd get the opportunity to go somewhere else. When you talk about home, you never mention your father. Because he's never been there. What is the situation? Well, he's in the army and he's always been gone and they're divorced. When they were married, he was never there anyway, so... He's a pretty nice guy, I guess. He's an alcoholic. Um, my mother says he's crazy, too, and I'm just like him. Are you? I wouldn't know. I, I don't know him that well. Hmm. I wonder if you don't have some feelings about that besides that you don't know. Feelings about my father? Hmm. There's a comparison that's been made. Feelings about the comparison that you're liking. Well, it used to bother me a whole lot because my mother would sit around and say, calling him different names, say he was a skunk and he did this and he did that, and then turn around saying they're just exactly like him. <laughs> and it made me feel a little bit bad. It didn't bother me for very long. How long ago did they get divorced? Mm. Yeah. It was when I was in the reform school. In 51. How old were you then? Fifteen. How did you feel about that getting divorced? Didn't bother me. Did it please you? Mm-hmm. Why? Because if she didn't like him, then she didn't deserve to have him. You feel that she was the one who was more deprived by the divorce? I don't know. I never thought much about it. You say that she didn't deserve to have him. Well, he may have been a little irresponsible, but he... But he wasn't bad. Do you look like him? Mm-hmm. Do you wear your hair like him? I don't think so. I don't know. How often do you see him? I've only seen him maybe twice in the last four years. Do you miss him? No. I don't miss anybody. I don't believe you. That's because I'm a liar. No, I don't mean that you're a liar, but I don't believe you anyway. I miss my children. I really do. I got some fine boys. What's the matter? I was just I'm thinking about my father. What were you thinking? You're asking me if I look like him. Mm -hmm. That bothers my mother a great deal. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think she appreciates the fact that, that I look like him and act like him because I, I don't think she likes him very well. You know, I think she holds me as a constant reminder of him. Has it always been that way? It seems to be. Since you're a little girl. Mm-hmm. Mind if I smoke? No, go ahead. 
You've mentioned a number of difficulties that you've been in, the times you've been in juvenile hall, the addiction to amphetamine, taking marijuana, other arrests, trouble with school. Are there other things that have happened to you of this sort that you haven't mentioned? Well, I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Have you been in any other difficulties? With the law, with society? I don't know. I don't... I, you must be thinking of something specific. No, I'm not. Well, having illegitimate children all the time is a little bit against society standards. How has your health been? Fine. You've had no serious illnesses? No. How's your appetite? Good. Good now, good in the past? It's always been good. How's the food been in the hospital? At Camarillo? Here. Here? Oh, the food here is good. How is it at Camarillo? It stinks. It's terrible. It really is. Mm -hmm. 